Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. <clears throat> I thought I'd talk for a minute about gravity wells on Earth, on the surface of Earth, uh, as I perceive them with my clear senses. Um, and it goes without saying that other people with clear senses will no doubt perceive gravity wells differently from me because it's very difficult to describe a cl cleric sensed experiences um, by means of the physical senses um, because the clear senses are so much more refined you know so there's really no words uh, amongst the physical senses to describe them Although we try, we try with images and uh, sounds, sacred sounds and uh, uh, stories, myths. We try all kinds of ways to convey what we sense with the clear senses. So anyway, to get back to gravitational wells. Well, as you may know, on the astral plane, the core of the Earth houses the hell worlds. And about the surface of the Earth are the purgatory worlds, and higher up on into the stratosphere are the heaven worlds, where people experience different densities based on the emotions that they're feeling. Negative emotions are very dense. Emotions like fear and anger uh, uh, create a heaviness that causes souls or astral bodies to sink down into towards the core of the earth and uh, and as you can imagine there's a gravitational effect involved in in the experience of the hell worlds the purgatory worlds and the heaven worlds after passing on right but when we experience these these worlds while we are in body uh, it's not that we are sinking down into the core of earth or beneath the surface of earth or high up into the air rather on the surface of the earth where our body is located provided that the astral form is still like around the body and not astral traveling uh, we experience all of these states um, uh, through gravitational wells and gravitational upliftments and these changes in gravity I experience uh, when I'm when I'm going towards one, uh, like driving in a car towards one, say on a level stretch of road, it feels like I'm going downhill and descending into the earth, even though the road is, is level. That's how it feels to me with my clear senses. And that's how I know I'm approaching a gravitational sinkhole, a place where people are experiencing the hell worlds here on earth. So, uh, and the reason for this is a very practical one. As the Earth is in the process of ascension right now, and the, and the beings on Earth are in the process of reaching the caliber and uh, level of, of, of delightful song at which Earth uh, resonates right now, um, some beings are less ready than other beings to, to experience those, those higher vibrations. And they tend to aggregate together in like clumps, especially of humankind and, and various astral beings that are of uh, the denser frequencies. They aggregate together on the surface of the earth and uh, like reinforce each other in terms of denseness of resonance. And this is what I experience as gravitational sinkholes. Um, now all is well because these beings are just choosing a longer timeline and taking longer to ascend than other beings in almost all instances. There may be a few, 10 or less instances in, on all of Earth. And you know, Earth is like seven or eight billion people right now. So s 10 people is a minuscule amount of people. 
to, to need to be relocated to other star systems and so forth because of their sole choices at this time. So m most everybody, I feel, uh, either through choosing shorter or longer timelines, are on the ascension um, path and undergoing the ascension process. Some, some, some are in gravitational holes right now. I know of two such that were in the Los Angeles area a year or two ago. I don't know if they're still there. So, and I haven't explored all of Los Angeles, so I would say all over Earth right now, here and there, there may be these gravitational sinkholes. Um, then at about sea level or thereabouts, where large groups of people are expressing great devotion to God through song, I sometimes experience gravitational upliftment, which is the opposite of gravitational sinkholes. To me, it feels like my body is weightless, floating at ground level, and as if I might at any moment experience levitation. Um, also, I suspect that at higher altitude, this is an experience I've had recently, that at the higher altitudes, above where cities are usually located. Right now, there are gravi gravitational upliftments where uh, the higher astral beings uh, can exist harmoniously with human beings in a, in a much higher state of consciousness right now. So, if you will, uh, you might wish to journey to the mountaintops from time to time to uh, to reinforce the DNA changes that are taking place inside your body and and the codes that are changing and the, the general health that is beginning to manifest in all human beings here on Earth. And so this is what I have right now about gravity and um, the plane of forces. It's what little I know right now the, about that. So as to the other um, forces in the plane of forces, I've been working with a yoga a set called the Basic Spinal Energy Series, uh, which uh, strengthens the, all the forces in the plane of forces, uh, except maybe gravity. So it strengthens um, prana in the human body, and the kundalini energy, the willpower, and electric energy, and magnetic energy, which I typically call as one, electromagnetism. So uh, that's a very uh, handy yoga set, and particularly so since almost everybody can accomplish it in uh, about a half an hour a day and uh, can be done sitting in a chair if a person can't do it in the way prescribed in the set. So uh, it's suitable for nearly everybody to help them attain greater health and greater, um, greater uh, presence of the plane of forces within their physical form.